How's it going everybody? Welcome here to the brief installation guide for the Dark Souls 1 Diablo style loot mod beta version installation guide. So open here on my screen I have the discord server that contains all of these files. You will need to go there in order to download these. So when you go to the Dark Souls Diablo style loot mod files you will see six text files. That is this one here called summary armor patch merge.txt. There are a couple more for rings, weapons, armor, and then uh, another one for rings and weapons that control a couple of different things in how the game displays various text objects. Below those, we have CSVs that contain the information for all of the relevant modifications that this mod makes. So there is the item lottery. These are drops. Shop lineup. Is there anything that shopkeepers sell? Special effects, which directly modify how the armor, weapons, rings work, as well as the alterations to existing rings. And then the actual accessories, which are rings, Protectors, which are armor, and weapons, which are obviously weapons. Um, and then you will also need to go ahead and download UXM from the Nexus mod. This will allow you to unpack your game, and you will have to get the 1.11.1 release of DS Map Studio, which is going to make this installation very, very smooth. So once we have UXM and DS Map Studio downloaded, you're going to go ahead and unpack your game. Um, this program walks you through it pretty easily. And once you do so, you should see something similar to what I have on screen now in your Steam Apps Common Dark Souls Remastered folder. Um, once you have all of these folders in there, as opposed to whatever the default is, you will know that you have unpacked your game successfully. And then once you have Dark Souls Map Studio downloaded, it should look similar to this. This is a program that works really well. Mine is pretty zoomed in because it's on my left monitor here. But it, it works pretty well, and this is where we're going to dump a lot of stuff. So, once you have those two items downloaded, go ahead and download all 12 of these files that are included as part of this mod package. And I am going to go ahead and show you the number of files that we will have. So, you can see here, I have the six CSVs that are all param something. So we have equip param accessory, protector, weapon, item lot param, shop lineup param, and special effect param. And then we'll have six text documents as well. Once you have all of those downloaded, we are gonna go into Dark Souls Map Studio. And I'll zoom this in here, give me a, a brief second. With Dark Souls Map Studio version 1.11.1 open, you're gonna go up to File, and you're going to hit new project. It will request that you enter a project name. You can leave this as whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm, I've called mine DS Diablo up here. Navigate to your project directory and here it tells you where the location of your files will be saved. Um, you can really drop it anywhere but I would put it in the same folder as the unpacked game here and you can put it in a new folder. You can do a, a right click and add, add a new folder called mod, or you can store it in other locations. Um, and then it'll request that you find the game executable. Again, this will just be in the same folder for Dark Souls Remastered, where you will choose the actual exe of the game file, the uh, Dark Souls Remastered application right there. Once that is all done, uh, quality of life thing here, I would go ahead and import row names and do all. 
And this will ask you if you want to replace row names with default names defined within DS Map Studio. Hit OK on that. That will change a lot of the stuff to English as opposed to the default Japanese. I already did that, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Cancel. But again, you want to hit OK. Now that we are in here, we are going to go to Equip Param Accessory. Up here at Edit, you're going to go to Import CSV from File, All Fields. You're going to want to navigate to wherever your directory is that you saved the downloaded files. So for me, I put them in a location. So here I have all of the downloaded files. I have all six of the CSVs. And I have all six of the text files. You can't see a couple of them because they're cut off it's because I'm zoomed in. So because we are using the equip param accessory file, you're going to want to go ahead and do equip param accessory. And it should import all of them. Again, I already have all of this imported, so it works really good for me. Next, you're going to want to come down to equip param protector. Do the same thing. You're going to want to go ahead to edit, import CSV from file, all fields, and you're going to want to do protector. Same thing with weapons. You're going to, again, go up to edit, import CSV from file, all fields, and you're going to do equip param weapon. Come down to the special effect param, edit, import CSV from file, all fields, and this one will be the special effect param that you'll import there. The final two are going to be the item lot param. Once again, edit, import CSV from file, all fields, that'll be item lot param. And then finally, the last one is going to be the shop param, which is sh here. Um, let me zoom down a little bit on my screen. This is shop lineup param. Um, and that's where the special effect param is, if you didn't see that. But shop lineup param, edit, import CSV from file all fields and go ahead and choose the shop lineup param CSV. Once you have all of those done, you should see something similar to my screen. So I'll just look at the special effect params. I have saved most of these at the very end so that it's easy to figure out which ones are the added ones. So by default, the last one in the game, I believe is this 9600 special effect. So everything that I have added should start at 10,000 and below. So yours should go all the way down to 124060, which is the Calamity Ring. I'm not showing that on my screen, but there should be a couple hundred of those that were imported. And you want to check that the weapons are the same. So again, we can look here. We can see what our weapons are looking like. So it should look very similar to this where you'll have the infusion type, the weapon name, and then the rarity, and then this yellow text should match that. For accessories, it'll be the same. You see here I have a couple of rings, the ring of fog, and then protectors. Again, this is armor. These should be the same. So we got Ornstein's set here with various different levels of rarity. Now that we have imported all the CSVs, we have to go up top to the text editor portion. We'll click on this. We will go to import, export, all, import text fields or files and replace. Again, you're going to want to navigate to the folder that you saved these text files. Again, it has this .fmg merge. Go ahead and select all six of them. Hit open. If it says something like this, that just means there's duplicates in the system already. So on this, you can go ahead and hit yes. If this doesn't pop up, that's fine as well. And then up top here, it should say finished importing six text files. And to check it, you would want to go ahead and click on weapons over on the right side of the screen. 
we'll see here that these are the default weapons. And again, it's a little bit tough to see given the, the scale of Map Studio. But if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you should see that there are a bunch of different weapons that you can click on that should have, again, the ID for the weapon or armor. If you look in armor, um, the infusion type, the weapon type, and the rarity type. And then down even closer to the bottom here, the bottom left side that is, you should see the ID of the weapon or armor that you're looking at. Again, this should match. So right now I'm clicked on the Divine Heater Shield Legendary, which again, the title matches. The summary, this is the type of weapon. This is uh, for weapons. And then the description. The description is just the same as the default for these rows. And at the very bottom, we have the special effect. So that's how you do it. And then once you do that, go ahead and hit save all. And that's all you'll need to do. And then we can go ahead and check to see that we actually did it correctly. So let's open up Dark Souls. And we'll want to test that it works, so let's name our character Test. Choose just a couple of random things here. Go into Accept. And then the easiest way that we're going to test this out, because I do not have the starting armor or the straight sword hilt um, as a randomized piece of loot as of right now. I might change that in the future. But we're going to want to go past the Asylum Demon and pick up the first weapon on our left just to make sure that it is okay. So I'll skip to that here. So if we pick up this, it should be whatever shield you have. It should have the infusion name at the front and it should have the rarity type. And then if you go to equip it, you should see that it has a special effect um, and we can see that the effect is working. That's something important to check as well. So the good one to start with is the warrior, just so you can check. The heater shield should be the same. So if we unequip that, we look at our lightning defense, it is 19 right now. If we go ahead and equip this because the special effect is increases lightning damage, we can see that our lightning defense goes up to 39. And we have the icon up at the top left under our status bar that tells us that we have increased defense. We can go ahead and pick up our weapon to make sure that that is okay. And that's a, a new infusion type that I have, the Longsword Mundane Infusion. Quite a bit different than the Dark Souls 2 version. I added an infusion type that does all four damage classes. Has really low base damage, but really good scaling. So this one is increased lightning damage. That one's a little bit tougher to test, but we can see that when we equip it and unequip it in the top left again under our status bar, we can see that we get the icon for an increase in attack or damage. So that is the general process of going through and installing this mod. In the future, I will have it so that it is much easier to do and it is a uh, programmatically done, so you won't have to go and do this. But for the beta version, this is how you go ahead and install the Dark Souls 1 Diablo style loot mod. If you have any questions on the mod itself or if you're having trouble installing it, please go to my Discord server and leave a comment in there and I will do the best I can to assist you in getting this to work. Um, I am also going to have a text guide on the Discord server just in case you want to refer to any specific steps. If you also have any feedback on the mod, if you install it and play it, if you find any errors, for example, or if there are some balanced things that uh, you see, feel free to also leave some comments in the Discord server or underneath the comments in this YouTube video, and I will take those into consideration. For now, hopefully you would find this enjoyable. If you're able to install it, I'd love to hear your feedback on it, and I can't wait to get a full release out. Until then, thanks for watching, and uh, again, if you have any questions, please find me at the Discord server. Thanks so much. Have a good night. Bye.